Okay, so that's it. That's the uh, the main details. That's the old oil and the new gearbox oil and new diff oil. So, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, a, um, a gearbox, uh, manual car gearbox oil change and uh, diff oil change. It's a Holden Rodeo 2.6, built in uh, 1995. The car's just gone for a fairly ex uh, extensive uh, uh, warm-up drive, about, uh, say, 20 or so kilometres, 20 minutes drive. It's about ready to go, so that's the uh, stabilisation I've got supporting the car that's on the frame rail okay we've got a drain plug there and uh, the fill plug is there now what happened a um, number of years ago I'll let you know the particulars uh, just after I drained the oil how long it's been since the last oil change etc. Um, what happened was this plug was very tight getting it out. When I went to put it back in, it wouldn't go back in. Um, not sure what I did. I could have turned around the plugs. Anyway, I got one to go in, but it could have been um, the wrong thread and it seemed to strip it out. Probably just because of the heat and, uh, and time and uh, maybe the aluminium uh, or aluminium, whatever you want to call it, um, changed its uh, form I don't know but uh, that's what I've uh, that's what I'm dealt with that's what I've uh, got to work with so anyway I'll just un undo the the plug and uh, we'll see what the oil looks like it was uh, 140 oil that I chose to use last oil change 140 viscosity um, I found that it was hard to go from first to second before the oil warmed up after that was fine so uh, I'll drain the oil now okay the good news is is that um, the silicon I put on the screws has worked so I'll put some silicon on the thread and it uh, as you can see um, there's no extra oil leaks around the uh, around the drain plugs Okay, so start draining it out. I've got, uh, it's not a pan, but it's like a oil catchment uh, thing. Well, that's, uh, wow, that's dirty. That's approximately 70,000 kilometres on that. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. And it's also got like, uh, it's glugging, so, yeah, it's not good. Okay, okay so, now we're at the diff, and uh, wheels are on the ground. Um, I should just take a minute to show how this uh, vehicle's secured first. Okay, so the front wheel is just, it's up off the ground, I've got these wooden chocks going to the frame as I've said before um, I've got a, I do have a jack at the front as a backup uh, mechanism one of the um, front wheels is chopped with bricks and one rear wheel I find these bricks work pretty well um, I'm guessing you probably should use the rubber um, rubber wheel chocks, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, this drain plug also had a bit of uh, silicon on it. Um, I'm not sure what this, uh, this seepage is. Uh, it's not... It's not recent. In fact, I haven't done any real mechanical work to this vehicle for about a year so or more. 
So I'm really getting some benefit out of, uh, out of this vehicle now. Alright, so there it is. Okay, we'll just let it all drain. Um, I'll have a rest, have a coffee, and I'll get that information about when the last uh, oils were changed. Okay, I really do have to give it to uh, Isuzu. They've got uh, the same same socket for all their drain plugs on their gearbox uh, and their uh, diff. It makes it super easy. It's a 24 millimeter uh, socket. Okay, it's uh, 75,973 kilometers since the last uh, oil change and uh, two years and eight months. So that's when you want to uh, change your oil. Okay, um, let's see, we've got the, uh, the diff on the right hand side and uh, gearbox on the left. So this is how you uh, check to see if your oil's been changed after a uh, an oil change. If you take it to a mechanic, um, so we'll check that against the new one. So put a dob of uh, you just get a dob on your finger and put it on a uh, on a paper towel, and uh, you get the gearbox oil, the new stuff, and you put another dob of that, and uh, you compare the two. So um, the test uh, uh, oil there, you can see it's not uh, it's not actually too bad. You can see through it; it's not actually black or anything like that. So it's a little bit overdue, but uh, not too bad. Okay, that's the gearbox there. Still, the oil's fairly thick. We've done its job, and uh, this is the diff diff oil. So yeah, the vis viscosity is good. Um, with the gearbox, it was just the. Uh, the breaking in process while it was uh, still at 140 viscosity and uh, trying to get that first uh, gear change between first and second um, when the gearbox was cold. Okay so we've got roughly uh, the same amounts the gearbox oil and diff and that's the measurements there you can see, probably on an angle, the viscosity of the uh, of the oil there is um, it's fairly thick still. So probably not going to pick it up there. But as I shine across there, you can probably see that it's still pretty good. And that's why I use 140 because, um, quite frankly, if it wasn't replaced again, it probably could, uh, you know, see the vehicle out. Okay, yeah. So there it is, um, liters and quartz on the right hand side liters on the uh, left and we can see it's about uh, two and a half liters I'd like to point out at this stage that um, uh, this is the oil that I've uh, chosen to use um, it's very important that you find the manual or look up exactly what viscosity and what type synthetic or mineral oil that you should use in your vehicle. Every vehicle is different. For instance, the, um, the Chrysler 350 uh, Hemi uses, I think it's 5W20, very, very thin oil. Um, I think it's synthetic oil too, so every vehicle is different. Um, this is a very type of um, industrial uh, vehicle. And uh, uh, as it turns out, the, uh, the 140 weight gearbox oil, uh, which is actually diff oil, was uh, suitable for this uh, particular gearbox. But other gearboxes, it may be too thick and it could actually 
crack the case, okay? So it's important that you uh, make uh, an informed decision about what oil and viscosity to use. Okay, um, this time we're going to do it a little bit different. Um, I'm going to use 90 uh, grade for, um, for the gearbox. And uh, diff oil is, uh, in most cases, I think, um, 140. But uh, again, check... Uh, Check your specifications for your uh, your vehicle. So that's what I'm going to put in the diff. That's what I'm going to put in the gearbox. Uh, this is a manual gearbox. It's not an automatic gearbox. For an automatic gearbox without a gear stick, um, car gearbox, you will need a different type of oil. If you put this type of oil in your automatic gearbox, you'll ruin it. Um, th again, this is for a manual gearbox. And what I mean by a manual gearbox is um, you've got a gear stick and, uh, and a clutch down on the floor. So it's got three pedals. Okay, this is what I'm using to, uh, to fill the, uh, the gearbox and the diff. I find that this one works better than that one. And that just drops down into the container and that feeds up into the uh, into the gear box or diff uh, inlet and you just just squeeze that and the oil flows in okay so there we go that's uh, in the gearbox and uh, you can see the mechanism Focus that. Uh, just, just there, and that'll open and close. So I'll just squeeze that, and you can see the valve there. Let's try and show that clearly, like so. So it just drops into the container and sit that on there and uh, that's all there is to it. And it flows up into the gearbox. And uh, you keep doing that until uh, oil comes out of the gearbox inlet. Okay, it's very strange now. I actually filled it up in no time. It took nearly no time because the viscosity is quite thin, but um, there's nothing in the container. I'll just demonstrate that now. It's, some came out at that point, but it's a tiny bit in there. That's, that's four litres. So that's empty. Um, so you can see there that, you know, for the most part, it's pretty well... Uh, drained out. So you can see they're just a little bit coming out, it's nearly drained out completely. And the funny thing is is that there's only it's not much in there, it's a it's clear, clear oil. You can probably see it there, there's not much in there. So that actually took four litres. So uh, what I'll do is um, that measuring containers at that said uh, two and a half litres. I'll, I'll, um, I'll test that measurement. Uh, I'll put two and a half litres in it and see where it comes to. I do realise that the vehicle uh, is on a slight, um, a slight angle. Um, however, I don't think that would mean that it would take an extra uh, litre and a half. Uh, I do need that room to work, so if I lower the vehicle down to drain it, uh, if I lower the car down, then uh, I wouldn't be able to get to the drain plug. But uh, anyway, you be the judge. Um, either it consumes oil, which I, I don't think that would be the case, or uh, or the measurement containers uh, are not accurate. Anyway, now for the diff. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that before I put the oil in, I reinstalled or put in the uh, the bottom plug first and second of all when you do put the oil in 
make sure that the pump hose um, doesn't go in so far as to block off the oil coming out, draining out, otherwise you won't know when to stop uh, filling the gearbox. So that part there that, uh, that goes into the gearbox, that, uh, that part there, um, don't only just put it in a little bit, make sure it doesn't drop out, but uh, if it goes in too far it'll block it off and the, the draining oil won't come out. Okay so we're up to the diff and uh, I'll put the, uh, the diff plug in and uh, we'll go from there. Trying to get that to stop. It won't stop. This might be a bit controversial, but uh, I put a bit of silicon around the uh, the drain plugs. It's just just building uh, silicon, and it seems to stop any uh, leaks. I wouldn't do this on any engine parts. What I'd do there is um, I'd use uh, engine uh, heat silicon. Um, it's important to. Clean. This has got a uh, clean these bolts. Um, this has a magnetic area here, and it catches any uh, um, small metal filings. And uh, that's what I got off the first one. Um, that dish was that's actually full. Now I've actually got a small piece of gear metal here, so uh, it's important to uh, to clean that. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's it. It's just a matter of wiping it down a bit and uh, that took just over two litres so 2.5 litres okay well it's just a matter of uh, packing all this mess up and uh, I think that'll take a while yeah again that's the diff um, that's the gearbox. I had a look. I checked it twice, and that uh, it's still giving a reading of uh, 2.5 uh, liters. That came out. Um, four liters went back in. Uh, maybe I could have uh, leveled the truck out to let it drain. Uh, last oil change. Just like to say that the previous oil change I put in this uh, smooth shift. It's a type of uh, nylon or plastic additive. Um, it did seem to fix something in the gearbox. Um, it did seem to uh, free up some type of uh, spline. Um, it didn't go in this time. Uh, and it is a different type of oil this time. So we'll see how that plays out with the next and last uh, oil change. Um, I'll use this car until I get a half a million kilometres. Uh, at that point you'll get a, a new timing belt because this is a uh, an interference engine and uh, the different gearbox oils will be changed and it'll go into storage and I'll, uh, I'll get another type of uh, car I've been driving these trucks now for um, or utes for uh, 20 years soon at the end of next year so that's where it's at Okay, so there, there's the test. There was 2.5 litres put in that, and that's down toward the 3 litres mark. So that's your, uh, that's your gauge for this video. That's 2.5 litres. Okay, at this, at this stage, these are just my rough notes. Um, so that's the information I've got. I'm going to stick with the four litres used uh, in the gearbox because it used up uh, all the uh, oil in this container and that's uh, four litres. I'll stay with this 2.5 litres because let's see now, this is this is 2.5 litres and what was it now? That's right, it was up to 2 litres. So I used a container with 2 litres plus a bit more, so I'll, I'll stay with that. 
Um, this is the test results. So a good in this is the old oil here. This is a good indication of how old the oil was around the edge here. And it's actually not too bad. That's new um, diff oil and that's new synthetic gearbox oil. Probably can't see anything of it now. You might be able to see a bit of a blotch just around there. Okay, so that's it. That's the, uh, the main details. That's the old oil and the new gearbox oil and new diff oil. So, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so just in finishing, um, I'd just like to say that I do recommend levelling out the car to, uh, to drain out uh, the diff and gearbox oil. Um, double check that the drain and inlet bolts are, uh, are tight. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Um, should be a successful uh, bit of work. Um, the, the truck should benefit well out of uh, today's work. It's just a matter of uh, packing up this uh, this mess, and uh, we're good. Okay, please like and subscribe.